What's up guys, Graz back with another video. And today we're going to look at the three types and three different graphic modes inside Spider-Man Miles Morales on the PS5. So I've spent an extensive amount of time playing this game. I finished it twice and I've uh, played all three different types of graphics mode. And I want to explain to you guys what the differences are and my opinion on the one which you guys should use to play the game. So maybe the first thing I'm going to do is just show you the three different types of modes. If you actually go to the settings option and then select visual, you guys can see that under the graphics mode, there's two different modes. One is called fidelity, one is called performance, and the other one is called the performance RT. Performance RT being for ray tracing. So in the fidelity mode, uh, you guys can see on the side it says that this is a, six, a 30 frames per second mode with graphical features like ray tracing, enhanced lighting, and additional VFX. Temporal techniques provide an extra high quality picture from a 4K resolution base. This is the default. So I, I've played this mode, uh, obviously, exactly how it was, was just explained. This uses a 4K native resolution screen, uh, the image quality. So the image quality is top notch, it's top notch. And what's really nice about it as well is that it is using real time uh, ray tracing. So real time ray tracing, I have done a video in the past showing the real time capabilities uh, of ray tracing. And what real time ray tracing is again, is that there's different types of rays that show actually what's going on uh, in the background. So if you guys take a look at the windows itself, you can see the cars moving, the pedestrians moving as well. So this is all being done in real time. The only hiccup with something like this is that the game drops to 30 frames per second. So the frame rate is at 30 frames per second, something that we would be more accustomed to playing on last gen consoles such as the PS4 or the PS4 Pro. But in terms of fidelity, I mean, it does look amazing. Um, again, you know, you have real time ray tracing, you're running in 4K native mostly. I mean, there are a couple uh, drops in terms of resolution, but in general, you're staying at a clean 4K native and uh, with real-time ray tracing and again the only downside to this in my opinion is that it runs in 30 frames per second which leads me to the next mode so if, again if we go back to settings visual the next mode is performance so again we can see the explanation saying that this is a 60 frames per second mode without graphical features like ray tracing, enhanced lighting, and additional VFX. Temporal techniques provide a 4K picture from a lower resolution base. So let's take this setting over here. And exactly what it says now, what actually happens in this game mode is we no longer have ray tracing, but we are running in glorious 60 frame per second which makes the animation and makes the game run so much smoother. I mean, you have to consider that you're running double the amount of frames that the original uh, quality slash fidelity mode was using. So on this specific mode here, I can show you guys here, got some windows. And you guys can see that in this specific mode, we're not reflecting uh, pedestrians. We're not reflecting cars. So what the system is actually using is what's called cube maps reflections and also using what's called screen space reflections. So it's a different type of technique, which is still very pretty, uh, but obviously it's not a ray tracing. And in terms of the resolution, when you're using this performance mode, uh, increasing to 60 frames per second, so it still tries to aim for a 4K native resolution. Uh, you will have some minor dips, um, so it does use DRS, which is dynamic resolution scaling. So depending on the scenes and how busy, uh, let's say the action is in the scene, you might have some drops in resolution, typically not lower than 15 and let's say uh, 1500p in terms of resolution. So I think this mode is amazing. You get almost 4K resolution, but the beautiful part about it is you have that 
clear, crisp 60 frames per second, which makes the look game look uh, amazing. Which brings us, guys, to our last mode. So I'll go back again into the settings. Let's go take a look at the visual and select performance RT. So performance ray tracing. So let's read the explanation. This is an alternate version of the 60 frames per second performance mode, adding ray tracing uh, by adjusting the screen resolution, reflection quality, and pedestrian density. So this is the third mode that Insomniac has just added. I think it's been here for approximately a week. So now what is actually going on in this specific mode is that we are running in 60 frames per second with ray tracing enabled. So let me show you guys right now. So you guys can see the reflections in the window here. You guys can see the pedestrians, the cars moving. So this is all real time ray tracing while giving you that 60 frame per second fluidity, fluidity, sorry. So it looks really, really sharp. So you might ask the question, well, how did they actually do this? So the way Insomniac actually did this is that they scaled down, obviously, the resolution of the game. And when I say by scale down, the resolution of the game is that you're not running at a 4K native, but you're running mostly at approximately 1440p, so half 4K resolution. But it can drop down all the way to 1080p, depending on, again, the type of game scene that's going on, if it's very taxing. In terms of graphics, it will be a little bit more, it will drop a little bit more into resolution. So this is really nice. I mean, you got a, lots of options to play with on um, on Miles Morales on the PS5. Actually, these actual performance, uh, these actual three game modes were also done inside the Spider-Man PS4 version as well. So if you're going to get the remastered version, you will be able to use these three types of modes as well. But this is really nice. I mean, Insomniac went really, really beyond our expectations in terms of ray tracing, especially for a game at launch. Uh, and now giving us the capabilities, again, you know, even on the tiniest windows, you guys can see the reflections of the pedestrians going in the, going about their business as they walk through the day. But it's really nice that Insomniac gave us this option. We're able to run at 60 FPS to get that fluidity but at the same time get real-time ray tracing as well, which really adds a new level of immersion uh, inside, the, inside the game. So maybe in conclusion, um, I'd like to say, you know, which is my preferred model, or which is my preferred uh, way to play this game. And I have to say that 100%, I would highly, highly recommend either the performance mode or the performance RT mode. And the biggest reason for that is the 60 FPS. I really think that the 60 FPS mode just changes the overall feeling of the game. It makes games feel next gen uh, versus the 30 FPS that we're used to on last gen consoles, PS4, PS4 Pro. I mean, the 60 FPS makes, just, it's just a game changer. It's just a game changer. I don't think resolution is as important. Um, the game still looks really fantastic. So playing 4K, ray tracing, so let's say the quality mode or the fidelity mode. So 4K ray tracing with 30 FPS. I feel like there's something lacking. It still feels like a last gen game minus the ray tracing. So I would definitely select either the performance mode or the performance RT mode. And between both of them, uh, it's it's a tough one. It's it's a really really tough one. For me, it's it's a close tie between both of them. I do see the a little bit of the resolution increase when using it in performance mode, uh, trying to hit that 4K native, versus right now I'm running it into performance RT, hitting that 1440p. But either one of these guys is amazing. Honestly, uh, I guess the best thing to do is once you get the plays the game sorry is play through all three of these modes and see which one gives you the best gaming experience and, and i think that would um you guys be the judge so that's pretty much it guys for today uh like subscribe 
uh, leave some comments. And as always, have yourself a great day. Have yourself a great night. And stay safe out there. Cheers.